So I wanted to ask you, what do you think your uh, life project is in terms of your intellectual goals? How do you self-conceptualize what you're doing? Uh, to study civilization, I'm, I'm interested in why the whole thing that motivated me uh, right out of college was to study this idea of decline. What is it that causes a society to become unhealthy and degenerate? Uh, and what is it conversely, what are the forces that bring a civilization into being in the first place? It's a little mysterious that, that they're even here, that with this level of, of complexity and development. Um, so my fascination is with studying cultures almost as living organisms with immune systems that can go bad. Um, an immune system can be damaged, like for example, Theodosius the Great in 390, um, who is the first to make Christianity the only legal religion. Constantine in 330 had made it a tolerable religion, but now Theodosius decides to outlaw paganism, so he shuts down the Olympics, uh, the Temple of the Vestal Virgins, uh, you know, shuts down everything that has anything to do with paganism. Now he's so badly compromised the classical immune system that it cannot be an accident that 20 years later in 411, in come the German barbarians. Um, you've weakened a society's metaphysical immune system. Now it has no defense and it falls prey to ex what can be called external proletariats who just come right in and sweep it right off. Same thing with Byzantium when the Ottomans gobbled it up. Uh, Justinian's conquest of the Mediterranean was a huge tour de force trying to get back the land that was part of the Roman Empire. He wanted to sort of recenter Rome in Greece. Um, and it was a tour de force that absolutely drained and depleted the whole society. Uh, so it was easy prey when during the Fourth Crusade, the Westerners went in there, uh, raided them, uh, stole a bunch of stuff, brought back the iconotypes for Western art that started appearing in Giotto and Cimabue and so forth. Uh, but it's, it's a weakened society. So the Ottomans, no problem for them to get in there and just gobble it up like a piece of candy. So this fascinates me, this whole subject of cultural immune systems and what it is that makes a civilization weak, fall prey to another society, and what it is conversely that brings them into being. So this is my interest is in studying the pathologies of civilizations as organisms. Mm. So uh, in that context, then, uh, what do you make of, uh, of uh, wokeness? Wokeness has been compared to a virus. I don't... Uh, get from you that you're particularly uh, woke yourself, but uh, I also don't really uh, have any conclusions that are firm about your political leanings uh, from either this interaction or the other uh, interactions, or not interactions, but I guess uh, uh, reading and listening uh, uh, to your work that I've done. <clears throat> um, it's been characterized as a virus and uh, Interestingly enough, uh, there is a theory out there that one of the reasons why it has been so successful at uh, taking over a lot of our mainstream institutions, corporations, uh, you know, government agencies and so forth, is that there is this weakening of our, um, you can call it our metaphysical immune system. Some people compare it to a secular religion of sorts. Uh, I would say that it's more like a, I, I want to categorize it purely as an ideology. Um, or as a, I mean, really, it's several ideologies that are sort of mixing together and appearing in various gradients. The point being, <clears throat> do you agree with that interpretation then, uh, given that your focus has been on these uh, pathologies? And uh, as an add-on to that, like, do you think that Western culture is uh, is going to preserve itself, or are we nearing a, a, a crisis point in terms of uh, its integrity? Uh, no, it, it'll preserve itself. This is an incredibly metaphysically rooted and strong civilization. It does not have a weak immune system, the Faustian civilization. Um, so we're not gonna wind up in the position of Byzantium or anything like that. This is not going to happen. We have a very strong sense, both Europe and America, of who we are as a people. Um, that's not in jeopardy. But now with the question of wokeness, yeah, I think, I think of wokeness as equivalent to a kind of autoimmune cultural disease um, because it, it ends up being cancel culture and you get this whole fury of uh, destroying statues and pulling them down, uh, which is completely ridiculous. Doesn't matter whether these men owned slaves or were racist or not. What matters about them is that the reason those statues are there is because they came out of maximal stress events in the culture, maximal stress events that were foundational for achieving our identity as a people, as an American people distinct from Europe. Um, still the same civilization, but a different people. 
And um, those are markers of those events uh, that give us a sense of who we are. Oh, there on my uh, $5 bill, there's Abraham Lincoln. This was the guy you know, who led us out of slavery. Uh, you, know, you can't go in and just cross an X over that and say, oh no, he was this, he was that. Lincoln was bipolar. Uh, MLK had affairs with women. He cheated on his wife. You know, we could object to that. Um, no, there's there's always something to object to when great people achieve great things. That no one is perfect or innocent. It just doesn't work that way. So cancel culture, uh, in taking away those icons, it, you know, it is an attempt. I don't it would I don't think it would ever be a success, but it is an attempt to weaken the cultural immune system, the metaphysical immune system of America specifically. Um, and the, the more the weaker a culture's immune system gets the more you're going to get other cultures coming in, eyeballing what you've got and are willing to take it away from you. Um, that's what will happen as the result of that. And these people are naive because they haven't studied history. They don't know that this, these are the dynamics of how you weaken a society and how that works. So I have nothing, well, it's, I have nothing nice to say about wokeness. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm generally well, apolitical. I keep away from politics. It doesn't interest me. Uh, but wokeness in particular, I, I find repugnant. 